Today we're going to cover how to link pages to a menu in Elementor, in this case notably the header menu, which is probably the most common menu in use. First we're going to head over to our sample page here, which has our just boilerplate that WordPress generated for us. And you can see we have home and contact us that have been automatically added here. But in my case, I actually want this to say home and my first page, this one I created over here. So how do we update this? To do so, we're going to go to customize. I'm going to middle click so it opens in a new tab here. And then you'll recognize this from the previous video where we created or edited our custom header here in Elementor Free. Take a look at that if you missed it. And then we'll go to our header and footer options here and hit start designing. And if you already have your menu set up in the WordPress menu creator, then you'll be good to go by just going to the hello theme header and menu. And you'll see here you can select a menu that should go here. I do appear to have made a main menu in the past. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then hit update. And then if we go back to our sample page over here and refresh, we'll see that that is the same. And so we know this is pointing to our main menu now. So I'm gonna close the customizer, go to our WordPress dashboard, go to appearance and menus. Here we have our main menu and there we are. That's where the home and contact us links came from and display location was set to header. So that's sort of the other roundabout way you can set the menu for a certain location on the site. You can create the menu and display location may already be set. So in our case, this is why these were showing up there, even without it being selected in the customizer, was because we'd already set it here. All that to say is those are two ways to identify which menu might be feeding either a footer menu or a header menu or somewhere else on your site. But now that we've determined where it's coming from, now we can head into here. I can remove contact us and I can go to pages and my first page add to menu. And let's say I also want to add a custom link called sublink, add that to menu, and I'm going to drag it slightly inward, which makes it a child link to my first page. Hit save menu, then we'll be able to go over to sample page, refresh, and we'll see home. And now it's my first page. And if we hover, the sublink shows up as expected, which is perfect. We can go and click my first page and we'll head over to there and it'll take us to my first page as expected. And so this is really useful. The WordPress menu builder can be used for a lot. As you can see, you can just check pages you already have, add them to your menu. You can choose blog posts. You can create custom links as you saw here. I just created a link to hash, but you can go to google.com if you wanted to. And then once you have a link created, you can go in here. And once you have a link added, there's a ton you can do too by going up to the screen options and checking if you want to see link target and things like CSS classes, you can turn on more controls. And so that turns on this button, which says open a link in new tab. So there's a whole lot you can do with the WordPress menu editor. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a deep dive on all this can do. But for now, that is how you link any page to any menu in WordPress. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe to help out the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.